Hello friends. Welcome to this video on lines and angles. In the previous video, we learned about the angle sum property of a triangle and theorem of exterior angle of a triangle. Today we will solve some questions related to these theorems. So let's start with the first question. In the given triangle, side CA is further extended to point E and side BC is extended to point D. If angle EAB equals 130 degrees and angle ACD equals 100 degrees, then find the value of angle ABC. Let us first look at the angles for which the values are given. Angle EAB equals 130 degrees and angle ACD equals 100 degrees. We have to find the value of angle ABC and this is the solution. First of all, angle EAB plus angle BAC will be equal to 180 degrees because it is a linear pair. Now if we keep the value of angle EAB, then it will be 130 degrees plus angle BAC which equals 180 degrees. Thus angle BAC will be equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees which is equal to 50 degrees. Let's name it as equation 1. Similarly we can find angle ACB. Angle ACB plus angle ACD equals 180 degrees because it is a linear pair. Now we will put the value of angle ACD in it. We get the value of angle ACB as 80 degrees. Let's name it as equation 2. And angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees according to the angle sum property of a triangle. Now if we keep the values of equation 1 and equation 2 in it, we will get angle ABC equals 50 degrees. Thus the first question is solved. Now let's move to the second question. Identify whether triangle POQ in the given figure is an equilateral triangle or not. So let's write the given values first. Angle MNO equals 70 degrees. Angle NMO equals 50 degrees. And angle OPQ equals 60 degrees. We have to find out whether triangle POQ is an equilateral triangle or not. Friends, to find this out, we will find the values of all the angles of the triangle and see if all the angles are 60 degrees or not. In the triangle MNO, angle NMO plus angle MNO plus angle MON will be equal to 180 degrees according to angle sum property of a triangle. According to the given values, this will become 50 degrees plus 70 degrees plus angle MON equals 180 degrees. We will get angle MON equals 60 degrees. Now since angle MON and angle POQ are vertically opposite angles, Angle MON will be equal congruent to angle POQ. That is angle POQ will also be equal to 60 degrees. And since angle POQ, angle OPQ and angle PQO are angles of the same triangle, therefore angle POQ plus angle OPQ plus angle PQO equals 180 degrees. Here we are given the value of angle OPQ and we have also found the value of angle POQ. Putting both the values in this equation, we get angle PQO equals 60 degrees. And now we can see that all the angles of the triangle POQ are 60 degrees. That is this triangle is an equilateral triangle. With this, let's move to the last question of this session. In the given figure, OQ is parallel to RS. Angle QRS is equal to 30 degrees and side PT is perpendicular to the side QR. Then find the value of angle OPT. Let's write the given values and what we have to find. Now let's see its solution. Since OQ is parallel to RS, therefore angle QRS will be congruent to angle PQR or we can say that since angle PQT is an alternate angle, therefore angle QRS equals angle PQT equals 30 degrees. And now if we use the theorem of exterior angle of a triangle, then we can say that angle OPT equals angle PTQ plus angle PQT. And keeping the value of all the angles, we get angle OPT equals 90 plus 30 equal to 120 degrees. And this is our final answer. Angle OPT equals to 120 degrees. Friends, with this, let's end this video. 
Today we solved some questions related to angle sum property of a triangle and theorem of exterior angle of a triangle. In the next video, we will discuss some facts based on these topics. Thank you.